how we manage the puck, their uh, transition game, and, and they're creative off their transition game, but some things haven't changed in years. They'll knock a lot of pucks down. They'll get four and off the rush, and they'll control the puck through the neutral zone. I, one of the best executing teams in the league. They don't necessarily come at you with a tremendous amount of speed or try to forecheck. Or, you know, they will, but what they're really good is putting pucks on the tape cleanly all the time. It's a very high-end skill level on their forward group. They haven't played Coach Cassidy described the last loss that Vegas had as the most disappointing loss this season. Mm -hmm. Because of that, what are you expecting to see from them in terms of that? Home yeah, well, they spent three days fixing it. So first period, they're also a very, very strong first period team and they're differential. So we'll get their very best and we'll get, we'll get a look at them uh, hard early. So just being being ready for that, they, they, they do. It's it's not They're not inconsistent. They had a rough game. They couldn't move the puck. Uh, you, you would give their opponent credit. They were on them pretty good. That'll be our... Uh, our challenge tonight, we've got to get on them so that they can't move the puck easily. Uh, but they'll be fresh and ready to go out of the gate. That's that's the key piece for us being ready at the start. You talk about being fresh. Any common trends you see when you face teams that have been sitting for a while waiting for you? No, you know what? You, you get one or two things, right? They're either slightly sluggish because they, uh, uh, they've they been sitting or it was a rest that they really needed. So I think you got a veteran team there over there. They'll, they'll be right. I don't think there'll be a major difference in the game. They'll just... Even with a tough loss, it's three days ago, sun shines here. You know, they, they're sitting in first place, so I don't think they carried too much weight of that loss with them, but they'll be good tonight. Uh, Goal tonight, Coach? Yeah, Bob goes tonight. Uh, any lineup changes from last game? None. Just looking nope. at that, how nice is have you, How much have you liked these lines? Because obviously you, you, you shook them up a bit yeah. and had some success. I liked, I, I liked what I saw on the lines. The uh, Verhege uh, Bennett to Chuck line has played well together. They've produced together. Um, but the Barkov uh, combination was the one that was the most interesting. I thought that was Lundell's best game of this season in terms of energy, jump, and simplicity. He didn't force things like that. That was the concern. They would be trying to play keep away from everybody else, uh, but they were simple and fast. That first skate today for Casey Fitzgerald, how does his play style fit on the back end for your team? When he's described to you, when you ask him what, uh, what the player's like, the first word was always, he's a gamer which is a little bit intense, a little bit in your face. He's going to close the gap hard, and he loves the hard areas. You know, he's, he's a little bit of a throwback guy, but also a pretty simple game. So we're looking to play a harder gap game with our team, a, a more of a battle game than a flow game. Not that we don't like the flow, but that's not why we're bringing him in. And back in Lundell, when you have a younger player, natural centerman, and you move him up with a fellow countryman in Barkov, how does that help, you know, kind of bring back, as you said, the energy to his game, just kind of when he's in a little you know what? The vast majority of really good, young, skilled centermen don't come in on the, in center. Unless, in truth, you're in a rebuild and you draft the first pick overall and you throw them in and get a couple of guys. A lot of these guys come in, they learn the game on the wing, and they'll go back into the middle. He started in the middle. He's been very good in the middle. Uh, but just had a stretch of hockey where nothing was happening for him, and he was trying. It's just there, was, there weren't plays to be made. Take some pressure off him from being down low. Get him out on the wing. It's a simpler game on the wing. You know, we got a big, powerful man at center ice that can play down low in both ends on the same shift. Uh, so I think Lundy gets a, removed from that kind of pressure. And when we did that, the first thing I, I noticed was his speed. You know, he, he could get up and down the ice. He's a fast player. Um, but you get a little more room sometimes on the wing. One thing we haven't asked you about, actually, was Barkov's uh, dominance in the face-off circle this season. I think he won 20 of them in Colorado. Just out of all the things yeah. he does, just how valuable is that? For him. That's the power play goal that won us a game. We won all four. There isn't a breakout involved. We're not going up and down the ice five times in, in its own time. And then the PK, uh, he would be almost the only guy that can take a face off on his weak side on the power play and have a chance to win it. So those are, yeah, center ice alone, missing him for a month, our face offs, we were in trouble. Thank you, guys. Okay, Thank guys. You. Thank you.